women are going through this or that all women are experiencing this belittlement by men. And see, I understand that, but I think also when I listen to you speak and you speak on why you don't like feminism, mm -hmm. I hear a lot of anecdotal work and I hear a lot of personal experience, like your experience in that one class that you had, whereas I've had five, six classes in my gender studies courses right. and I've never experienced no, that's, anything that's totally like fine. that. That's ever. totally fine. You know Guys, what I mean? So just I just don't feel like it's fair to studies. take personal... No, no. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Official Makeover. Today I'm Jaren with. Please. We're going to be checking out Candy Owens, the Bates College Feminist. All right, this will be interesting. I love Candy Owens and I can't wait to check this. So, without so further ado, let's get started. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Um, so, I noticed you had a lot of thoughts on feminism. Um, I'm a feminist, but really fine. I was just wondering how do you differentiate between the extremism that exists in feminism as it does across, you know, multiple different ideologies, but how do you differentiate between the extremism and how, you know, feminists like me think, you know, I don't hate men. I yeah, don't, it's a great question and I'm mom. glad you asked it. How yeah, you? it's a very, a great, great question. So what you have to realize about the left when you talk about extremism is they hack words that once had real meaning and they take them for their own nefarious goals, right? So they'll say racism. And you'll go, oh my God, no, really, racism used to exist, but now it means organizing your pantry. That's obviously not racism. That's completely ridiculous. You see something like feminism, and once upon a time, you know, women were fighting for the right to vote. Well, now we have that. We have equal footing. Um, and now they're using those terms. They're hiding behind the shield of feminism, and they're doing actually horrible things in society. And I, bl I blame feminists for almost every ill that we have right now because they've encouraged people not to act as a woman, and they bash men all the time. And I think that they have contributed the most to the breakdown a family in terms of an ideology. Now, I'm for you, to my question. <laughs> no, I am. I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. Now, for you, you're like, okay, but I actually am somebody that just believes in equality, that there should be equality between the sexes, right? I think it's um, more culturally and socially, not necessarily in the realm of legality. Sure. So I'm going to ask you, what is it socially? So you could call yourself something, right? That means that there's some fight that you have. What is it socially that you and I have as women? That, that, that we don't have that men do? Why is there a need for you to be a feminist? I think as women, we are um, undervalued when it comes to our intelligence. I think people, especially for me, as a woman who, I'm sorry, what'd you say? Go ahead, let her talk. Sorry, for me, as a woman, I feel like a lot of people look at me and think I'm superficial, they think I'm, I'm, I'm vapid, they don't necessarily see that I could be intelligent, that I could speak for myself, they tend to automatically... Guys, don't be rude. Go ahead. I tend to get belittled a lot, and that comes from men, not necessarily women, right? So you, you're saying in your personal capacity, men are belittling you, right? But when you talk about affecting actually a social change, this might be your personal experience, but does that mean that all women are going through this or that all women are experiencing this belittlement by men? And see, I understand that, but I think also when I listen to you speak and you speak on why you don't like feminism, mm -hmm. I hear a lot of anecdotal work and I hear a lot of personal experience, like your experience in that one class that you had whereas I've had five, six classes in my gender studies courses, right. and I've never experienced no, that, anything that's totally like fine. that. That's ever. totally fine. You know Guys, what I mean? So I just don't feel because like it's fair to studies. take personal experience. No, no, it's experience totally fine. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. I'm, I'm actually talking about the real-world consequences of the dangerous ideology telling women that they have to take their clothes off, that they should be on TikTok. I'm talking about real-world consequences. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm talking like about literally the fact that women are no longer, like, they're by and large all climbing the corporate ladder and that children are being seed over to the state. So I was giving you an anecdotal example of what happened in my feminist class, but the repercussions of that are seen everywhere. What I am saying is that what I'm offering to you mm -hmm. is not to feel like you have to give yourself an ism, right? Don't feel like you have to put yourself in a box. Don't feel like you have to put yourself into some weird social constructs. I think that what you'll find with time is that it constrains you unnecessarily. I don't have a problem with the fact if you want to identify as a feminist and you think that there is some fight that needs to be ended. I don't personally think that is that's... Is conservatism not a box any more than feminism is? Well, a, a saying that I have conservative principles, a feminism is, is not being a conservative or being a liberal, right? You're talking about an ideology, right? A, a system you think I you're... Mean, I would assume conservatism is also an ideology as well, is it not? Uh, sure. P conservatism is an ideology. These are the things that we believe. You could say that everything is an ideology. What I'm saying to you is that I would not necessarily paint yourself into a corner. 
you don't seem to me like you have any issues speaking up. You don't seem to me like you feel like you're constrained in any way. You're standing up here today. I would say, I would offer to you that there's never been a more remarkable time to be a woman in this society. By every statistic, we are doing better than men. That's a fact, right? Men have a higher, we, we are graduating at a higher rate than men. Men have higher suicide rates. That's why I said to you, despite how you're feeling, what are the real world implications that suggest to you that you are somehow beneath men? You might have a personal experience where I mean, a man we can talk about said, sexual assault everywhere in the military in the home so so are these the things that that you're fighting to end sexual assault of course yeah. okay great you don't have to be a feminist to fight to end sexual assault you don't have to be and but men I've... and women <laughs> yeah i mean i agree i don't great. believe you have to it's be. a great cause but it's of men course and a part women of the go through that i just said to him one of the biggest things that i give to every year mm -hmm. is for human human sex trafficking it doesn't require to be a feminist now yeah. you seem really committed to it i've said to you since the very beginning if you want to be a feminist girl, put it on a t-shirt, wear it, put a hashtag. I'm just telling you, don't unnecessarily put yourself into a corner and to recognize that it has never been a greater time. I would offer it as a way better time in this society to be a woman. True. What she's saying is true. Because if you look at um, our mother's generation or our grandmother's generation, they didn't even have right to do anything. They don't even have right to buy land, right to vote, right to do a lot of things. And most women are just seen as like, the only thing you can do is to be on bed or cook in the kitchen. So, like, this generation we are in, we have a lot of rights. Like, we have free will to do literally almost everything. Because right now, there are women who are president in our countries. There are women who, who are CEOs. Like, women are doing a lot better now than they have ever done in any other generation or any other timeline in the world. So... If you're fighting, because majority of people I see right now, majority of women I see right now that are doing feminism, I'm not saying all of them. Most of them are just having this negative hatred towards men, which I really don't like because um, there's this lady I follow on TikTok. I think Nunu or so. She cooks food from scratch for her children and her husband. But when she uploaded a video of it on Instagram, the way people were eating her up, like, why would you do that? Why would you be cooking for him? Like, don't you know you're home? I'm supposed to be doing all that. I'm like... Don't let your hatred or your anger towards the bad relationship or bad experience you had spoil someone's ex marriage. Don't project your own insecurities into some other woman's life because she enjoys what she's doing. She cooks food from scratch for her family. It's what she wants to do. But don't let your own um, life issue make you project your insecurities onto her. So when you're talking about feminism, what are you trying to do? Like, why, what are they reaching out? Because right now, they employ women as much as they employ men. Yeah. So what are you trying to reach out? There are lots of female doctors, there are lots of female lawyers, there are lots of female engineers. So I don't get the ideology of, I'm a feminist, we have to fight for equality. What equality are you still fighting for? Because the present world I'm in, like, literally, there are some things women can do that men can't do. Because, like, um, just in um, nursing school right now, like, when uh, they're going to write their license and stuff, the um, invigilators are more hard on the men than the women. Because they put in more efforts on the men. Like, if you are doing this, they, like, uh, sanction you a lot because um, nursing is a women-dominated field. So if you're a guy there, you have to be better because this is a woman work. And if you are going to be there, you have to show me a reason why we're going to pick you in a um, female-dominated field. So, like, life is... The way it's going is literally hard for everybody. I'm not going to say it's harder for men. It's hard for everybody. We all go through our own personal life issues and struggles. So it's hard for everybody. Like, don't come and be doing, oh, my God, women, we are being maltreated by who? If you're in a relationship that someone is bullying you, you're being maltreated because you choose to stay. What do you think? Actually, as we should do this in about feminine and the rest of them, you being a female does not discriminate you from any rights. You True. being a male does not discriminate from any rights. You as a citizen, you have your own rights. You have your own legal rights in which you're supposed to be used. But in a place whereby you are actually arguing, or you said it also because you hate this particular, you hate what somebody in this gender did does not mean you have to take it on all gender. You hear this person all because of the character the person has played. I'm not trying to say that your own intention, you may have a reason for you hating that gender himself, but at least it not, it's not all purposes you have to say it out. Because you arguing about family and the rest of them, just in the generation we are now, mostly everything you all do, women and men are doing all the same. And it is mostly most complaints 
You normally see women there mostly as the head, as in they don't take it a hand down to our the back centuries. You know the way they behave, women don't go out. If, you, if they see you going out, they look you in a very high way. They look like someone that doesn't, they don't have home training and the rest. But now the generation is doing that everybody can work. Everybody can go out. Which other equalism again are you looking for? At least you as a man, a man has his own right, a woman has their own right. But it's in a, if, if it's in a sense of work qualification, there's some things that a man can do, a woman can do. There's some things a woman, there was no, this is a position that is meant for a woman. As this is something that a woman can do. So it's something that, all possibility, women actually have that job. But yeah. I'm not trying to discriminate. I'm not trying to discriminate the men from having that job. A man can also stay calm and see, but as you said, in your license, they normally put the more effort in the men because that is a women field. That I'm trying to say, you know, they say that field is meant for women. But if a man comes, to choose that position, they must make sure that they will treat you in a way, in a very high way, to see if you can be able to take tolerance, if you can be able to ignore some facts, to focus on why you are there. That's the main reason you should be focusing on your work, and not you focusing about equality. That you treat me that. Imagine you, they are telling you are telling a manager or a director of a company that she should they should treat you the same way they are treating um. The manager of the company. What imagine you telling the head, the head of a company to be there? Should be treating me the same way they're treating their manager. I know that, that there's no treating everybody equally, but sometimes there's some respect to tell the gift to that person, or because the position he or she is actually having. That's just the that's just the reason. Because there's a position you have in life. I know everybody has a respect, no matter whether you are high or low. But for that position himself. They will not acknowledge you that respect. Give you that respect that child. she's our manager. He's our manager of this company. They will introduce him or her to you. So nothing like equality. We all have equalism between ourselves. Despite our gender, our race, our color, there's all equality among us. So that's all I have. Because have right now, this is the wrong time to be doing we are looking for equality. Yes. Because we have it. And you see this um, ideology of we want equality. They have turned it to um, when a guy holds the door for them, oh, I can do it myself. I can do it myself. When a guy opens the car, I can do it myself. Like I went out on a date and like the guy carried my things for me and opened the door. The way I felt so happy. Like it's so it's so genuinely sweet. Like when someone offered to make you feel warm inside, it's so nice. And when you come to the dating aspect, they're like, Oh, we're going to do 50-50. How do you fall in love with someone you do 50-50 with? <laughs> because I have imagined it in my head and I can't comprehend it. Like I think I need to talk about this, like maybe. A talk show on looking at people like you are having 50 yeah. 50 relationship how splitting of bill how does it how does it because sound? like i'm i'm a baby girl <laughs> i've gotten princess treatment all my life and i can't just fall in love with someone and you expect both of us to go on a date and you're like oh let's plead the bill <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry i can't <laughs> Oh my god, I'm I'm explaining too much. But I feel genuinely it depends on you what you choose, what you want to do. But me, it's like everyone is different. Everyone is different. Everyone get raised differently. I'm independent, I make my own money, but I'm not gonna follow you and share anything 50-50 because relationship can never be 50-50. So if you're a feminist, let your feminism not be included in the relationship aspect. If you want equality in workspace, social space, do that, but don't bring masculine energy into your relationship because if you're going to be the man, your man will end up being the woman. So that is just how it's going to be. So guys, let us know anything about our reaction. Sure. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.